So Ibn Taymiyyah was the first one, 700 years after the Prophet to say that no, the people who are mistaken in their ijtihad, this is actually bid'ah. Okay? And is, and is unacceptable. It means what? It means that everything that is in, the, that the Islamic tolerance is gone and that everything that the Shaykh of one's neighborhood says is right and is sunnah and is haq and is the manhaj. And everything that the Shaykh of one's neighborhood doesn't agree with is bid'ah. And so what? And so we get to fight among the Muslims. Oh boy. You know. And so, you know, for all of these, you know, so we have, uh, but before, you know, all of the, the, the uh, methabs of the Muslims are acceptable, were acceptable before the reform Islam. Okay, so we have uh, four of these methods in works and works of, uh, of the body and the Sharia, and in Aqidah, the works of the mar- of the mind, okay, as opposed to Tasawwuf, which is works of the heart and ruh, basically. In Aqidah, we have two methods. Okay, everybody knows the methods of uh, of fiqh. What are they? Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, and Hanbali. Okay. And in, in the madhabs of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and Aqidah, we have the Ashari and Maturidi madhabs. Okay, the, the book of Firaq and uh, Tazkirah fil Firaq. It's the book that the Azhar, that Azhar teaches about Islamic sects. It has uh, every single sect in Islam listed and the basic beliefs of each one. And it has even Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah listed as a sect. And it says, how does it define them? It says, those who believe in either the Ashari or Maturidi Aqidah. <laughs> so, it's, so it behooves us to know what it's what we're talking about, what, what these methods represent, and so we'll talk about them for shortly today. Just give her a little thumbnail sketch of Aqida. Ibn Taymiyyah, to his uh, to his uh, discredit, believed that the Asharis, who include all of the Malikis and virtually all of the Shafis, and a great number of the Hanafis and even many of the Hanbalis. Ibn Taymiyyah believed that the Asharis were kafirs who were outside of Islam. This is this fact about it. Ibn Taymiyyah is not known very okay. It's not known by the most of the people who say Shaykh al-Islam and this and that, but this is what he believed. And it's in his and it's in his Minhaj Sunnah. And the problem, the basic problem that he had with them was that they were not anthropomorphists. And he was. Ibn Taymiyyah believed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was bounded by six directions, was encompassed by space. Okay, what's the proof for this? The proof is a book that's coming out in Jordan now. It's called Al-Kashif al-Sagheer, the, the, the smaller disclosure or revelation. And it's, uh, it's a book of 500 pages about Ibn Taymiyyah's aqidah by an extremely able uh, person, uh, Sayyid Foda. Who is, uh, he's, a, he's an Ashari uh, scholar who's a, appeared in Jordan now, and he's, he's teaching the Shabbat. And uh, he, he, he has established this. He's debated the Ibn Taymiyyads publicly in Jordan, and he's established this. Ibn Taymiyyah thought that Allah was limited, finite, and that furthermore he was bounded by six directions, neither of which are acceptable in the Ashari, because Allah lies a commit the Okay. Uh, so we've mentioned the Ashari school. What is it that Ashari believe? Who are they? We're told who they are. They're the Malikis and Shafis, and in other words, they're the majority of Sunni Muslims for the majority of Islamic history. Okay, now what are, what are they? Okay, we're told who they are, now we'll tell what they are. And Ashari is someone who believes the following points of Aqidah. Okay, everybody stop me as soon as I come to any point of Aqidah that you disagree with. Okay, so we can get it straightened out right here and now. Okay, the first point of Aqidah is what they, what they believe is, the attributes of, uh, is in the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 41 attributes. Allah has more attributes than these and more divine names than these, but they, they focus on 41 attributes. <coughs> 